Welcome to Megapixel Monday Episode 3, Photography Circle of Confusion and 43mm Focal Length Deep Dive. In the realm of photography where we strive to capture the world with precision and clarity, there exists a fascinating paradox, true sharpness as we perceive it as an illusion. Our lenses, um, despite their sophisticated designs and advanced technology, can only focus light onto a single plane. Objects residing outside this plane of focus inevitably render as slightly blurred points of light on the sensor, creating a soft, unfocused appearance. This brings us to the intriguing concept of the circle of confusion, a fundamental principle that underpins our understanding of sharpness and depth of field in photography, Imagine a tiny point of light, say a distant star, being projected by a lens onto the camera's sensor. This star serves as a perfect example to illustrate the concept. If this star is not positioned at the precise focal point, it will not appear as a crisp point on the sensor, but rather as a blurred spot. Instead, it manifests as a minuscule disk of light the circle of confusion, which is a key element in determining image sharpness. The size of, of this circle, often measured in fractions of a millimeter, is crucial in determining whether we perceive an image as sharp or blurry. This measurement is vital for photographers. As a rule of thumb, if the circle of confusion is, is smaller than the resolving power of our eyes or the digital sensor, we perceive the image as sharp and clear. However, if this circle grows larger than the acceptable limit, our eyes begin to detect the blur um, and uh, the image appears out of focus, losing its intended sharpness. Uh, but what dictates the, the acceptable size of this circle of confusion? Uh, this is a question that every photographer must consider. This is where factors such as viewing distance, uh, print size, and the visual acuity of the observer come into play. These elements collectively influence our perception of sharpness. Understanding these factors is key to mastering the art of selective focus and creating images with impact. By controlling the circle of confusion, photographers can guide the viewer's attention and evoke emotions. The human eye possesses a remarkable ability to discern detail, but even its resolving power has limits. Um, this intricate process involves uh, various components working in harmony to create the sharp images we perceive. When we view an image, our brain interprets the light patterns detected by our retinas and uh, constructs a visual representation of the scene. This interpretation is a complex process that involves both the physical structure of the eye and the brain's ability to process visual, visual information. Uh, the fineness of detail uh, we perceive as sharpness is directly related to the size of the light receptors or cones uh, densely packed within the central region uh, of our retinas. Um, these cones are responsible for our ability uh, to see fine details uh, and vibrant colors. These cones have a finite size and when the blurred circles of light projected uh, by the lens onto our retinas are smaller than these cones, our brain perceives the image as sharp. Um, this phenomenon is crucial uh, for our understanding of uh, visual acuity. However, uh, as the circles of confusion grow larger, uh, they begin to overlap with multiple cones and our brain can no longer distinguish the individual points of light resulting in the perception of blur. This is why images can appear out of focus when the light is not properly directed. Digital sensors in a similar vein have their own 
resolution limitations dictated by the size and density of their photosensitive elements, uh, the pixels. These pixels function similarly to the cones in our eyes, uh, capturing light and converting it into a digital image. A sensor with a higher pixel count can capture finer details because its smaller pixels can resolve smaller circles of confusion. This allows for higher resolution images that appear sharper and more detailed. Conversely, a sensor with larger pixels will have a lower resolving power and will require a smaller circle of confusion to maintain uh, apparent sharpness. This trade-off is an important consideration in photography and imaging technology. This interplay between the circle of confusion, our visual system, and the resolving power of digital uh, sensors underscores a crucial point. Sharpness is not an absolute value, but rather a perceptual one. It depends on both the technical capabilities of the imaging device and the subjective experience of the viewer. It's a delicate dance between the technical aspects of optics and the subjective nature of human vision. Understanding this relationship helps us appreciate the complexity and beauty of both human sight and adapting to modern imaging technology. To modern... Uh, the acceptable size of the circle of confusion is not uh, arbitrary. It's a value carefully chosen uh, to ensure that images appear sharp under typical viewing conditions. A common standard uh, used in photography is the uh, Zeiss formula, which suggests a circle of confusion diameter of uh, 0.03 millimeters uh, for a 35 millimeter format image um, viewed at a distance of 10 inches from the eye. This uh, value, however, is not set in stone and can vary depending on several factors. One crucial factor is the viewing distance. When we hold an image closer to our eyes, we're effectively magnifying it, making any blur more apparent. Conversely, viewing an image from a distance makes the circle of confusion appear relatively smaller, increasing the perceived sharpness. Similarly, the size of the final print also influences the permissible circle of confusion. A large print, when viewed at a typical distance, will uh, reveal more detail um, and therefore demand a smaller circle of confusion for optimal sharpness. On the other hand, a small print intended for web viewing or casual sharing can tolerate a larger circle of confusion uh, without sacrificing noticeable sharpness. Ultimately, uh, the acceptable circle of confusion is a subjective judgment call based on a combination of technical and aesthetic considerations. By understanding the interplay of these factors, photographers can make in informed decisions about aperture selection, depth of field control, and overall image sharpness. In the world of full-frame cameras where the sensor size mirrors the dimensions of traditional uh, 35 millimeter film, a particular focal length holds a unique distinction, the 43 millimeter lens. This lens is often overlooked but holds a special place in the hearts of many photographers, often referred to as the dead normal lens. Um, it occupies a sweet spot in terms of perspective and, and field of view, closely approximating the way our eyes perceive the world. Uh, this makes it an, inu an invaluable uh, tool for uh, those who seek to capture life as it truly is. The seemingly arbitrary focal length is not a random number, but is deeply rooted in the optical properties of our own visual system. Uh, the design and uh, engineering behind this lens take into account uh, the natural way we see. Uh, the human eye in its entirety uh, has a focal length of approximately 43 millimeters when considering the lens and the distance to the retina. Uh, this fascinating correlation is what makes the 43 millimeter lens so special. 
this means that a 43 millimeter lens on a full frame uh, camera produces an image with a field of view and perspective that feels remarkably natural to our brains. The images uh, captured with this lens uh, resonate with us on uh, a deeper level. Unlike wider lenses, uh, which tend to exaggerate distances and distort perspectives, uh, often creating a sense of disorientation, or telephoto lenses, uh, which compress distances uh, and uh, isolate uh, subjects, um, making them appear closer than they are. A 43 millimeter lens offers a, a balanced view, uh, rendering scenes with a sense of familiarity and realism. Uh, it captures the world in a way that feels both intimate and expansive. It's like looking through a window onto the world, capturing the essence of a scene without introducing noticeable distortions. This clarity and honesty in representation are what many photographers strive for. The 43mm focal length is celebrated for its versatility and its ability to capture scenes in a way that feels innately true to our visual perception. Whether it's a bustling street or a serene landscape, and this lens excels. Uh, it's a lens that encourages photographers to embrace a more documentary approach, capturing the world as they see it with minimal manipulation or exaggeration. This purity is what makes the 43D mini lens uh, a favorite among uh, purists and storytellers alike. Uh, thank you for watching. Like, subscribe, be nice to each other, and go out there and create your magic. Um, I will talk to you tomorrow on our TTL Tuesday, Episode 3.